good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you for your answer, Rocio. How are you today? Hi, and you? Good, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Aide. How are you? I'm awesome, teacher. Excellent. And how are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. That's the attitude. Okay. Good. You are ready. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Hello, Isidro, Carla, Hello, Carlos, Aide, Rocio. How are you today? Hello, Hello how good evening. Day? How was your day? Uh, Easy. Tired. To do. Tired. Tired. Yeah, I had a busy day today too. Yep. All right, welcome back. What's today's date? Today's August. August. <laughs> August. August 10th. Yes, today is the 10th. What is the year? 2021. Yes, 2021. So let's 2021. 2021, 2021, good. Um, what activities did we cover yesterday? Uh, How do you prepare sandwich? Good. Am I we're soup? speaking about going to? Sequence do? adverbs. Yes, yeah, yeah, sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. What is the yeah. function of sequence adverbs? Third. What is the function of sequence adverbs? For describe one process. Yeah, exactly. To describe a process. Exactly. Like when you're giving an induction to somebody, you also use uh, a sequence adverbs. So first, then, after, uh, uh, after that, and then at the end you use final. Good. Also, we were talking about going to and will. What's the difference between going to and will? Uh -huh. Will is a possibility and going, going to, to is security through. activities. Okay. Yeah. Will is a possibility and going to is for sure. I mean, at least you have it in your agenda. So when you have plans, you say going to. Um, if, you, if it's only a possibility, then you should say um, will right now remember if you make a decision at the time of speaking that means without doing any planning uh you should say will you should say will any questions or comments okay let's have a small review do you remember the simple past tense yes okay what is the function of the simple past tense? Uh, the simple past is when I I speak about something that is the past. Okay. Uh, can you use a synonym for past tense? What? Can you use a synonym so you don't repeat the same word past again? I don't know. When do you use the simple past tense, people? For example, uh, where you Did. where were you born? Okay, and what does that mean? When were you born? That's an excellent question. Carlos was saying "did." So when do you use were and "did"? Do we talk for future actions, actions that are happening right now? Finish activities. When do we use it? Action that happened in the past. The finishes. And don't do it more. Actions that are finished. You hear the static? Yes. yes. Hmm. yes. 
Okay, and you say when the static appears, my microphone activates. Right? Yes or no? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, All right. I, can. I lost connection for a while. I don't know. I removed my headsets and I put speakers down. So hopefully that was the issue. All right. Um, so remember, we use how many tenses do we have in English? Twelve tenses. Hmm. They might be not the headsets. Anyways. Uh, 12 tenths, every tense has a particular We hear again. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna change computer. Uh, different functions, different structure. <laughs> so with the simple past, you talk about actions that are completely finished. Yeah. That is one. What is the other function? to talk about the second conditional. Si yo viniera todos los días, if I came every day, si yo no tuviera tiempo, if I didn't have time, si yo no tuviera moto, if I didn't have a bike or a motorcycle, uh, si usted no tuviera preguntas, if you didn't have questions. So when you're using the second conditional or unreal conditional, you use the simple past tense. Are we okay there? Yes. Okay. Decision. What is the other function? Wishes. Do you remember wishes? Yes. Uh huh. I wish I had money. I wish I were in San Francisco. I wish El Salvador were better. Remember, when we talk about wishes, was does not exist. So you use were for yes. all personal pronouns. I wish you were here. I wish I were there. So you talk about wishes, you use the simple past tense. Any questions about that? No? Okay. Yes, teacher, repeat please for the option, the conditional. Okay, uh, when yeah. we talk about, when we use the simple past, uh, another function of the simple past is to talk about the second conditional. What is the second conditional? Unreal situations. Si yo tuviera dinero, if I had money. Si yo tuviera tiempo, if I had time. Si usted no viviera cerca de acá, if you didn't live near here. Si usted no tuviera preguntas, if you didn't have questions. So all that is unreal. Es in, no es cierto lo que digo. Si usted no viviera acá, if you didn't live near here, what is the message? That you live near. If I didn't have time, si yo no tuviera tiempo, ¿qué digo ahí? Si tengo tiempo. You see what I mean? So when you're talking about the second conditional, you must use the simple past tense structure. Questions? How do you say? DJ. Uh -huh. Yes, Carmen. Um, when, when you wish, what, what kind of uh, use? Past. So if I want to Past say, desearía Past. tener dinero, I wish I had money. Me gustaría no tener problemas. I wish I didn't have problems. So, me gustaría estar en Japón. I wish I were in Japan. So, whenever you're talking about conditions, you have to use 
the past of are, which is were, and you use it with all personal pronouns. So when you talk about wishes, the complement needs to be, must be in the simple past tense. Me gustaría rasurarme. How do you say that? Uh -huh. Me gustaría, excuse me. No rasurarme. I wish I didn't shave. I did. I wish I, wish I, I didn't, didn't shave. Exactly. Me gustaría tener pelo largo. Desearía tener pelo largo. I wish I had long I, hair. I wish I had long hair. hair. Yes. Okay. Isidro might right now might say, I wish I were in Dominican Republic to say hello to my mother. So, you know, those are wishes. Yes. Those are wishes. Okay. Anybody else? How do you say me gustaría, desearía que el Salvador fuera más grande? I, I wish, wish that Salvador, Salvador were bigger. Um, bigger. I wish El Salvador were bigger. Right? Okay, any questions or comments? I have a question, teacher. Yes, sir. Um, uh, wish, wish, oh, sorry, wish, you see, I, he, she, it. Everybody. Okay. All uh, pronouns. Uh, okay. Where is using we, you, they? Everybody. Okay, Everybody. Thank you, sir. So remember, when you're using the um, wishes, when you're talking about wishes, you must use the simple past form. However, when you're talking about wishes, was does not exist. So you have to use were. Me gustaría, desearía que hoy fuera viernes. I wish it were Friday today. It were well, Friday well, today. today. Yes. Oh. So you use were for, for all personal pronouns. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Was. Just was. Just were. Only were. Only uh, were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Anything else, people? So remember, when we study a, a grammatical structure, remember that uh, this particular grammatical structure may have other, um, other functions, like the simple past tense. You use it for the certain conditional, and you also use it to talk about wishes. All right? Sure. Yes. Can, you, can you write the structure? Sure. Please. Yes, okay. Sure, no problem. Yes, I think that is a yeah. little bit confused, but. Okay, no worry, don't worry. You said. Do you want the structure for wishes or for the second conditional? Yeah, for wishes. Okay. Please. I wish it yeah. were Friday. ¿Qué dice ahí? I wish it were Friday. Gustaría que fuera bien. Ajá. She wishes she didn't have to work. How do you say that one in Spanish? Ella desearía no tener que trabajar. Ella, ella desearía no tener que trabajar. No tener que trabajar is with the simple past structure. I wish I didn't have to put gas in my car. So remember, your wish can be positive, your wish can be negative. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. The structure that you will use is always the simple past form. Or you say, he wishes he had a goatee. Mm -hmm. Questions? Right? 
Questions, questions, no questions? Class? How do you say me gustaría saber esto? I wish I knew it. Good. I wish I knew it or I wish I knew this. Mm -hmm. Good. Me gustaría saber. saber. Sí, che, excuse me. Yes. The structure, the second conditional, please. Good. Okay. Now, before we go to the ¿Podría, second ¿podría we, Sure, sure. Now, before we go okay. to the second conditional, does anybody have any questions about wishes? This topic is in your final exam. Any questions about wishes? In the second one, the sentence. Uh -huh. I say, uh, why you, do you use a uh, she in two times? Uh, she wishes she didn't. Right. Because you need, in English, you need to mention the personal pronoun. Ah, okay. So she wishes she didn't have to work. How many subjects in the first sentence? Just mm -hmm. one. He wishes he had a goatee. How many subjects in the sentence? One. So you have to make reference to the person you're referring to. It's more specific. Right. To uh, be more specific. Exactly. Thanks. Good. Any other questions or comments, people? I have a question. Yes, Yomara. Uh, and we have to use always uh, simple past. Always, it's Always. mandatory. Okay. Now remember, uh, we have fluency and we have accuracy. Fluency versus accuracy. What is fluency? What's fluency? Uh -huh. Fluidez. Uh -huh. yes. Good, fluidez. You're speaking without any problems. You speak at a normal speed and people understand what you're saying. That's fluency. Mm -hmm. What is accuracy? Accuracy. Uh -huh. What is accuracy? Precision. Uh -huh. Right, exactly. So accuracy makes reference to grammar. It makes grammar. So you say, he wish he had a goatee. He wish he had a goatee. Is that accurate? No, because you're supposed to say he wishes he had a goatee. So fluency and accuracy, which one is your priority? Is it fluency or accuracy? Both. Excellent, both. Like I said, if you go to the United States and you go to a job interview, they will check your fluency, your pronunciation. In the States, grammar is secondary. So you can break grammar all the time. And if you sound natural, they say, congratulations, welcome to the company. Even if your grammar is poor. So mm -hmm. fluency and accuracy are evaluated in El Salvador. Yep. Yes. Questions or comments? Any questions about wishes before I go to the second conditional? I don't. Okay. If you paid your bills on time, if you pay your bills on time, how do you say that one in Spanish? Si pagaras tu tiempo. Si pagaras tus facturas a tiempo. Wait. So that means that this person that means that this person does not pay the bills on time. This person is actually late. Hmm. 
questions about the second conditional? Teacher, repeat, please, because the interference, I can hear. Well. Okay. You use this. Hold on. <laughs> you use this. You use the second conditional to talk about things that are not real. Si usted pagara sus recibos a tiempo, what is the message? The person is usually late. So okay. if you pay your bills on time, you wouldn't have to pay interest. No tendría que pagar intereses o multas. Another example. If you lived near here, ¿Qué dice en español? How do you say that one in Spanish? If you live si near... Si cerca... Uh -huh. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que vive lejos. Right? So, right. if you live near here... Si alguien le dice eso en su trabajo, if you live near here, ¿qué pasaría? To be on time. You would be on time. Yeah. You wouldn't need a car. You wouldn't need public transportation. You would come walking. Pero cuando le dicen, si usted viviera cerca de acá, le está diciendo que usted vive lejos. Got it? Got it. Uh -huh. Now, this is when the information is positive. If you pay your bills, if you live near here. Now, si yo no tuviera tiempo. If I didn't have time. ¿Qué pasaría si yo no tuviera tiempo? Use your imagination. You couldn't do anything? You wouldn't do anything. Good. If you didn't speak Spanish, if you didn't speak Spanish, how do you say that one in Spanish? Si no hablaras español. Si tú no hablaras español. Si usted no hablara español, ¿qué pasaría? Si estuviera tomando clases de español, ¿qué pasaría? No tendría el trabajo que ahorita tiene. ¿Qué pasaría? Hablaría otro idioma excepto español. So, if you didn't speak Spanish, si usted no hablara español, what is the message? That you speak Spanish. Uh, is the second conditional clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes, right. teacher. Now, first yes. conditional. Questions, comments? Okay, first conditional, something that you do now with a result in the future. What happens if you take your medicine like the doctor told you? If you, you take your medicine, you would be sick. If you if you take your medicine, you won't be sick. Ah, mm -hmm. you won't be sick. Mm -hmm. You will be healthy. You will be healthy. Healthy. You yeah, will feel healthy. better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If you take your medicine, you your body will be happy. Right. So that is the, the second conditional. An action now with a result in the future. That's the first conditional. Any questions? No. All right, yeah. let me. Share. Give me a second. How do you say capture pantai in English? Screenshot. Screenshot. screenshot, exactly. Okay, so uh, please take a screenshot. All right, so these are the questions you guys will be practicing with. What will you do if you split up with your partner? What will you do? What will you do? Okay. Um, uh, 
I want three to nine. Take a picture. Okay. This one is red. Okay. So everybody will have access to these questions in the WhatsApp chat. Let me make uh, the, let me assign you with a, to work with someone. 18, nine, five, create. Is here, create. All right, so speak with your partner and answer the questions. I will move this person here and here. All right, open all rooms. Let's go.
Yeah. And this uh, uh, Republic Ireland, right? Uh, yes, yes, it is independent. Of, of, it's, it's a part of United Kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> I prefer uh, any country. Um... The call. If I know that could be an important important uh, call, I could ask teacher. Can I go out and answer my call? If I know that is not an important call for the moment, I just let the uh, phone ring and ring. And maybe later when I go out, I'm going to answer to come. For example, uh, maybe I will go back to El Salvador. What ha happened to you? For example, if, if I, 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 I lost, creo que se dice, se me pierde. Yes. If I lost in the bus, uh, no, um, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Infinite and um, simple bus. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fair in infinite or mm -hmm. simple pass simple pass maybe uh -huh. okay um, so yeah, I, I will um travel 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 so there yeah uh-huh mm -hmm. Is is um, travel right? Very simple, simple pass right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Teacher, the simple pass of what? Can Can you tell us some example with the third one, please? Okay, give me a second. The third one. You see this here. Uh, what will you do if you don't enjoy life in the UK? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now let's change UK and put El Salvador. What uh -huh. will you do if you don't enjoy life in El Salvador? Oh, I will move to another country. What will you do if you don't li enjoy life in El Salvador? I would look for exciting activities. So, ¿qué va a hacer si no le gusta la vida? En El Salvador. En El Salvador. El Salvador. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the uh, uh, answer is no in, in past. No, no. This is the first conditional. And the, with the first conditional, you always use will. Ah, okay. Yep, yep. I'm a little bit confused about it, but now. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is the first conditional. When you use mm -hmm. the simple pass, is when you're using the second conditional. Ah, okay. Thanks. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, we continue with in, that. What is it? I'm using word. One more time. Uh, Carla. No, uh, teacher, sorry. Uh, no using word. Wool, wool, or wood. Wood. Yes, you can say wood and you can use could. Okay. Wood and could okay. are possible. Okay. All right. Thank you. A movie or city? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will be what? Movie with my my children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Number, Number ten. Partner. Partner. Part partner. Uh -huh. Split. Está difícil la pregunta. 
What is a split? Separate. Yes. Separate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I would. Uh, maybe I go. I go like to call to the police or report. I will have a police officer. Officer. Pol All right, ladies and gentlemen, any questions about the first conditional? Remember the first conditional makes reference to something that you do now with a result in the future. Questions or comments? So, mister. Yes, sir. We can uh, practice some one of the, this, the question to compare if, if or answer was correct or sure sure let me see it where's this okay right here okay what will you do if someone phones you during the english lesson what do you do if you receive a phone call right now? Honestly. <laughs> what do you do? What I will ha I will hang up the phone. <laughs> okay, I will hang up the, co the, the call. Or you said, if someone phones me right now, I will answer. Yeah. If someone phones me right now, I will hang up the call. If someone phones me right now, I will tell them to call me back. Got it? Is the example clear? Mire, pero que no hang up es tomar la llamada, o sea, que usted después del teléfono. Colgar. Yo pensé que eso era hang up. No, hang up, hang up means colgar. 
Ah. So okay. if no. someone calls me right now, I will hang up the phone. Uh, uh, Mauricio, I think the interference is from uh, his microphone. Really? Yeah. Okay. It be because at the moment that he was speaking, the noises. It activated. Started. Yeah. When he opens the, the, the microphone, oh. the interference starts. Oh, oh, good to know, good to know. Because I was thinking that maybe it was my headset, but the problem persisted, so I said maybe it's the computer, but that's, that, that's good to know, good to know. For example, right now it's not a... There's no static. Yeah. Good, good to know. Así ya no compro una computadora nueva. I'm just playing. A new gamer <laughs> computer. Yeah, I was going to say, who wants this computer? It's not good okay. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, mister, I have another question. Ask me, uh, in, in that case, uh, you can use will or use will to, to answer using the first conditional or you only need to use will. Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. In, a, in a real life conversation, you can say will, you can say would in a real life situation. Grammatically speaking, the first conditional, something that you do now with a result in the future. So what do we use for future? Will. But okay. you can say would. Now, grammatically speaking, it wouldn't be good, but you can say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens you. if you eat too much candy? You will have cavities. If you eat too much candy, you will visit the dentist. If you eat too much candy, you will lose your tooth, your teeth. So have a lot of energy. <laughs> you will have it's one in the morning and you're still doing a lot of things, right? <laughs> exactly. All right. A any 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 other questions or comments about the first conditional? Now remember, the first conditional is not today's topic, but you need to know that when you see the first conditional, part of the structure is in this. Yeah, because it's a little bit confused. Right. Right. So remember, zero conditional is something that is always true. If you say money, you're prepared for emergencies. It's always true. If you don't drink water, your kidneys will suffer. What are, what are kidneys? Lesión. Piel. Huh? Kidneys. Piel. Habilidades. Ah, listen. Uh, if you don't drink water, your kidneys suffer. Ah, riñones. Exactly. Riñones. Uh huh. So it's always true. That's the zero conditional. The first conditional, something that you do now with a result in the future. Second conditional, something that is not true. Si yo fuera, si yo viviera, si yo no tuviera, si yo no te conociera. That's the second conditional. And the third conditional is a little bit, uh, there is more information to it. Any questions or comments? Uh, I have a comment. Yes, please. <laughs> well, I'm going to say in Spanish, I can, can I? <laughs> yes, I guess so. <laughs> Justo ahorita me acaba de pasar lo de la pregunta uno que, que me cayó una llamada. <laughs> uh -huh. Entonces usted le dijo, discúlpeme, ahorita Francisco está hablando. Y dijo, no. <laughs> no, solo le di en el, en el botoncito de rechazar. Ok, good. So everybody, take notes. Así tienen que hacer ustedes. Take notes. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No questions about the first conditional or how to use the, the future? No questions. Uh, me, we, uh, question. Yeah. Well, bueno, es más fácil, obviamente, así. Cuando usted nos pone estas clases de ejercicios, como ahorita que, que practiquemos en parejas, yo me quedo pensando, y siempre, y me, no sé si es la forma correcta, 
yeah. de, que, de que en cada pregunta, por ejemplo, en estas de, de que están en pantalla, eh, o sea, uno eh, tiene que ir, eh, o sea, no, no sé qué espera, ¿verdad? En ese momento, por ejemplo, esta uno, ¿verdad? What would you do if, if someone... Entonces, yo ahí digo, bueno, ¿qué, o sea, ¿cuál es la idea, verdad? De que, que practique en este caso la secuencia, o era de usar el will, o el could, I could. Ok, do you remember yesterday's topic? We were talking about will and going to, right? Yeah, yes. Ok, so the objective for this activity is that will and going to have other functions, not only to talk about future, but you can also use it in the first condition. So it's disconnected. Yes. Because I, I used um, sequence and other case could or should. That's a different topic. Because, uh -huh, because I, I didn't know what uh, the, the idea. Yeah, in, in future levels, you will see how to use should, could, would, must, should have, could have, made of, and all that. Yep. Okay. Any other questions or comments, people? Yes, I have. Yes, uh, ask me, please. What is the third conditional, the third? The third conditional, um, let, let, me, let me give you the, the one example in Spanish to see if you can do it in English. Okay. Si me hubieras llamado, yo no lo hubiera comprado. That uh, is the third conditional. Regrets in the past. Oh. Usted se arrepiente de algo que sucedió o que no sucedió en tiempo pasado, pero se lamenta. Si yeah. me hubiera llamado, no lo hubiera comprado. Ahí me estoy arrepintiendo de algo. How can I say that in English? If you mm -hmm. had called me, if you had called me, I used to ocupa el past perfect. I wouldn't have bought it. I wouldn't have bought it. You. So if you had called me, I wouldn't have bought it. Right, please. Sure, right now. <laughs> yes, I, I do the same. If you had called me, ¿Qué dice ahí? si usted me hubiera llamado, if you had called me, para decir si usted hubiera pagado, si usted me hubiera invitado, si usted hubiera llegado, se ocupa el pasado perfecto, que eso lo vamos a ver después. If you had called me, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bought it. Si usted me hubiera llamado, yo no lo hubiera comprado. ¿Qué pasó? La persona no llamó, por tanto, usted lo compró. Se está lamentando. Yes, someone said, teacher. Teacher, the, the, this information in the lesson of the English online, in online English corporativo.net, what lesson is? Okay, this particular topic is not in this level yet. This topic is for future levels. Mm. Okay, teacher. Got it? So there are topics that you will see later on. Maybe the second conditional, you will see it later on. But I want you to understand that the topics that the level has, they have additional functions. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Ask me, Rocio. For example, my partner and me. Uh -huh. in my the, partner and I. Mm -hmm. And I. Uh, in the question six. Uh -huh. What will you do if you get a headache? Uh -huh. um, the answer 
is the I which I had medicine is probably this this no. answer or take a pill. I will take a pill. I will take medicine if I get a headache. Yep. Ah, okay. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Good. Questions? Other questions or comments, people? I have a question, teacher. Yes, please. Um, in exercise, if um, is using only will and answer. If if when you're using the first conditional, grammatically speaking, you should say only will. I will take my medicine if I get a headache. I will call for help if my sister gets sick, grammatically speaking. But in a real life situation, you can use quick. Or could. Oh, okay. Yeah, but with the first okay. conditional, you always use will. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay, so let's continue. And we go here. Okay, this is a listening activity. This is 5.3, yes, 5.3. You're supposed to listen to this audio and answer questions one through five. I'm going to share the audio in the WhatsApp chat. You listen to it and you answer the five questions. Give me a second. Can you see the questions in my screen? Can you see the Yes, questions? teacher. Okay, good. Very good. This is 5.3 of the platform. 5.3 of the platform. Give me a second. Where is the right here? Second. The audio is like 35 seconds only. It's really short. Okay, so listen to the audio and answer the questions. Go ahead, listen to the audio, please. I'm 
Did you finish with the audio? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. So what are the girls going to stay? What are they going to stay? At our house. Okay, what about number this two? House. Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's going to go. She's going to the beach with her cousin. Okay, let's check. What might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. fishing. Go fishing. Okay, go, go fishing. fishing. Number four, I'm booked for this weekend. Going to go camping. Going to go camping? Okay. Yes. And number five? Well, what should you say if you're maybe, unsure? Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I will lead around, lead around, lead around, lead around, okay. around. Right. Let's check the, the answers. A hundred. You guys are good. You guys are sharp. All right, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No? No questions. All right, so thank you very much for your time. Remember, we only have four more classes, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, and Tuesday, and that's it. And remember, your passport to the next level is that you need to have 80% minimum of all the assignments in the platform. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. Sure, no problem.